July beauty obsessions. I'm sorry this is going up kind of late, but <laughs> I'm getting it up. And by the way, I'm going to start making my monthly beauty obsessions more smaller. I know some of these videos can get really long, so I'm working really hard on editing more advanced, more <laughs> <laughs> more aggressively so um, I have a few favorites here that I've been loving for the whole month of July and I have one disappointment you guys are wondering what's on my eyes I just filmed a tutorial using all elf cosmetics for this eye look it will be coming up really really soon if it's not already up if it is already up I'll put it in the description bar <laughs> so like I mentioned I do have one disappointment I just want to get it done and out of the way and then we can get all the good stuff so these are the yes to cucumbers Soothing Sensitive Skin Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I picked these up at, I don't know where I was, like Meyer, Walmart, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give them a try. They were on like sale, and you do get 20 pads in a pack, and I believe this was 3 or $4. It was pretty affordable, and I really do like this particular brand because it is for sensitive skin. I've tried some of their face products, so I thought, what the hell, I might as well give it a try. Oh my god, you guys, do not buy these. These burned my eyes so bad. I was so shocked because it says for sensitive skin right there. Sensitive skin, that is 100% me. I'm super sensitive to like everything on planet earth. So it's just a quilted pad and it looks like this. I mean it's really durable, it's really strong, um, and the scent, oh my god. It smells like stinky feet mixed in with cucumbers. Maybe this is just me, but that is what it smells. Oh god, it smells so bad. So being really gentle, I wasn't like getting it in my eyes, but it just burned. It burned in my eyes, around my eyes. My eyes were really red, so I don't know what's going on, but and it even claims to, it says, clinically proven to remove 99% of waterproof mascara. Oh hell no, uh-uh. You did not remove my waterproof mascara. Big disappointment. No. I'm going to get into my favorite products that I've been so obsessed with. So my first product here that I have been so, oh my god you guys, I'm so obsessed with these. These are the new ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I love all of them, I love all the shades, I love the purple ones, but for some reason I have just been non-stop wearing these four shades. I already did a uh, swatch video, a lip swatch video, and an in-depth review talking about these, the formula, my thoughts on them, are they worth it, the pros, the cons. I will link that video right over here in the corner somewhere. If you want to click on it and go watch it, definitely check it out. Um, I am currently wearing Midi today. Um, I love this color. It's the perfect, like, nude. I love this one. It's such a perfect nude. It doesn't like wash me out. It works with my skin tone. I just, I highly recommend this shade. It's one of my favorites. The other one that I really, really, really love is called Trap. And Trap is just a little bit darker than Midi. It's got more of that taupey beige color that everyone is going nutso over. And I've been wearing these two so, so much. And sometimes I'll mix them together. I'll mix some of the darker shades in. I just love these. They dry super quick. It's a really thin formula. I know some people may not like these because they are drying, but... Honestly, all liquid lipsticks are drying. I love how comfortable they are. They don't transfer. They're kiss-proof. Yeah, I just love these. They're only six bucks. Um, I think these are back in stock. I'm not sure if they sold out or not, but definitely check out their website if you're interested. I mean, six bucks, you guys. Um, the other two shades is Solo and Bumble. I just, oh, Bumble is like this really dark color. I've worn this in my... When I did a makeup tutorial using the new eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics, if you want to check out that video, if you want to see this in action, oh, I just love it. It's like a really dark, warm, terracotta color. I love this one. And Solo is just the perfect, like, everyday pink. And I think because it's summertime, I've been wearing uh, Solo, Trap, and Midi a lot just because they're easy to throw on. They go with any look that I do, whether I do a really dramatic eye or something really natural. So... I love these. Oh, love them so much. Next beauty obsession is definitely this guy right here. It is probably no surprise to you guys because I raved about it when I did first impressions on it. It is the new e.l.f. Smudge Pot. They came out with two new shades. This is the one in Why Not. Oh my god, you guys. If you do not have this, you better order it like 
now. <laughs> I am just so in love. It's the perfect like rosy taupe mauve. It's like a dirty mauve. It's really dirty, but I just, oh my goodness, I love this color. It's so amazing, and it has these beautiful shimmers in it. I just love it. I believe these are only like $2, you guys. I love these so, so much. They're so pigmented. They're creamy. You can use them as an eye base on their own or put shadow over top. You can use these for an eyeliner. I've done that before. They're just amazing. I love the other one too, the Coco Cutie or whatever it's called, the new shade. But this one is just my favorite. I love it. Yep. All of July, I swear you guys, I cannot put these two eyeshadow palettes down. These are the two palettes I've been reaching for every day, or at least whenever I wear makeup. These are the new e.l.f. Studio eyeshadow palettes. I already did a review if you guys want to check it out, and I did swatches, the whole shebang, and a tutorial if you want to check it out. But my favorite one is the Mad for Matte. Oh my god. This is such a beautiful matte eyeshadow palette. They are completely matte. They're really nice and blendable and soft and I am just in love. Let me know if you guys want to see like an all matte look using this palette. Like an all matte elf eye tutorial. Um, definitely leave a comment below but I just I can't stop using it. It's just amazing. This is Need It Nude. And this is just a really great, you know, typical nude palette. It has all those browns and shimmery golds. It's just a great palette. I love using, like, this one to put all over my lid and to highlight with. And then, the, like, these light shimmery colors to wear all over the lid. And this beautiful, like, rosy taupe. And, I mean, let's just look at it, you know? You know, these are definitely more on the dry side. They're not the best eyeshadows in the world. But, I mean, for 10 bucks, I feel like they're really great. I'm able to create really nice eye looks with them. They're just awesome. For all the makeup products I've been loving for July, now a couple of, like, other things. I have this right here, which is a body product. This is from Alba Botanica, and it's the Hawaiian Sunscreen Revitalizing Green Tea SPF 45. I absolutely love this stuff. It is not greasy it has a great fresh scent to it it's not overpowering it doesn't leave like a white cast on my skin it absorbs really really quickly i just love it best cruelty free um sunscreen that i've ever tried so far and i ah oh, i just love it it's great fantastic last but not least i have some nail products which i'm really excited to share with you guys some of my nail polish favorites i keep forgetting to mention i think last month i forgot to mention my favorite nail polishes of the month. I always mention the nail polish I wore that month because <laughs> I'm a nail polish junkie. I really, really am. Um, something new I just picked up at Ulta and I fell in love with it. It is the Zoya 3 Plus 3 in 1 Remove Plus Nail Polish Remover. I love this. Everyone has been telling me for so long you have to get this nail polish remover. It is amazing. I love this. It is definitely pricey so it's not like super affordable <laughs> but I think I paid like $4.99 or $4 for this little bottle but it lasted me a really long time I have a little bit left but it just cleans your nails it gets the polish even glitter I put this baby to the test and it works great it doesn't dry out your nails either which I like I have very dry brittle peely nails so many issues with these guys right here but um it worked great and i definitely will repurchase i i love it it's amazing month of july these are the three nail polishes that i've been wearing and been so obsessed with i did also wear skinny jeans from elf cosmetics but these are my definitely my three favorites so this one right here is called blue bell of the ball i will also insert like some pictures so you can see what these look like on my nails because i have something different on my nails but this is such a beautiful blue i forgot like how beautiful this really is but it's kind of got those gray tones in it it's such a great polish if you haven't tried the flower cosmetics polishes you need to try them. I love the formula. I love how they apply. They're so opaque and they have a beautiful glossy finish, but I always put a top coat over top. They're only like $4.99, $3.99. You can get these at Walmart. All right, the next one here is from Wet n Wild. Actually, the last two are both from Wet n Wild. This is one of my favorite 
both of these actually. These are both like my favorite colors to wear all year round. I don't care if it's summer, winter. This one is called On a Trip and it's this beautiful kind of, I don't know, it's like this vibrant purple but it's not too bright and it almost has a little bit of a violet undertone. I feel like it complements my skin tone really nicely. Love it. And then the last one that I am currently wearing right now, this one is called Disturbia. I'll just give you an up close of this. I love this color so much. I did just did my nails last night, so they're nice and fresh. It's this gorgeous deep maroon purple, and I love that it has all these beautiful shimmers. I don't know how well you're going to see it on camera, but it has all these gorgeous shimmers in it. And you see how glossy it is? Like, I just love these Wet n Wild nail polishes. I have to say these are probably my favorite affordable nail polish brand is wet and wild so that was it that was all of my july beauty obsessions leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys were loving all through the month of july i want to know i'm always curious to see what you guys like and what you recommend is there something new i need to try out definitely let me know i hope you guys are having a really great day week whenever i upload this video i'm so excited i hope you guys have been enjoying like you know, I try to put out three videos every week if I can. If you guys have any video requests, definitely leave a comment down below. I have a lot of ideas. Oh, really quickly, I wanted to mention, I found the footage of my decluttering series. You guys are probably wondering where those videos went. I still didn't film my lipstick collection decluttering and going through my blush, bronzers, and highlighters. I found the footage. I thought I had lost it, but I found it on my camera. So let me know if you guys want to see those. I'll start editing those babies right away and get those up for you so definitely let me know if you're new to my channel definitely hit that subscribe button it's completely free and i post new videos on every tuesday friday and sometimes on sunday i will see you all in my next video remember smarter videos